Hello guys. Let me see. I want to flip my camera. Oh, I still have my headband. I really like the the vani cream. It gives me this dewy look. I really like seeing my 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 skin like hydrated. I don't want to see it dry. So I keep noticing that my skin is getting dry. Okay, okay, okay. Kind of I'm going to speak taglish today cuz this is just everyday vlog. I feel like I'm in the mood. My, I'm in the mood to vlog. Okay, so today, guys, as you can see, so my husband bought this. My husband bought this from Costco. It, it is on sale for $19.99 for two, two, for two um, jar. So, mura na siya, mura na. $19.99. So, usually it's like something like 15 bucks each. This is fragrance free. Fragrance free. It's very unusual to see this in store. Fragrance free for a cheaper price. And then, my favorite um, moisturizer for my face and my body. Cetaphil. A very good um, moisturizer for face and body. It will really, really hydrate you. And it's also on sale. I guess that's $14.99 for the two um, jar, big jar. And then I repurchased this one again because it's on sale. The same price, $14.99. Not sure, but that's around that price. $14.99 for this. And this, I'm not sure if it's also $14.99 or $17.99. I forgot. And then our favorite, favorite seaweeds. Guys, maglilinis ako ng bahay kasi, as you can see, lumi-lumi ng bahay namin. After, after New Year talaga, ang dumi-dumi ng bahay. Feeling ko, pag lumalaki yung mga anak mo, parang nagiging tamad na lagi. Puno na lang pagpapagwapo at pagpapaganda. <laughs> Lalo na si Zach, ang hilig magpagwapo. Feeling niya, gwapo-gwapo siya ba? Nagpa-earring siya, guys. So, sabi niya magpapairing daw siya. Dito pala in United States, if you're 13 below, kailangan ng consent ng parent to ano, yung magpabutas ka ng tenga. So, si Zach, kailangan ng consent. Buti na lang nandun kami. Wala akong dalang ID that time. Sipit lang. Buti na lang may dala sipit na. Of course, kailangan mo ng ID. Kasi I didn't brought my, my ID at Walmart. They have that clears. If you buy earring, you get free um, pierce. So, pumunta kami doon. Mas nang pa-earring siya. Buti na lang kasama namin si Pete. Oh, buti na lang pumasok si Pete sa store. Or whatever like that. He has ID. You need ID kasi you need a parent's consent to sign. You know, if it's there, there below, you re they really need parent consent. So, I didn't know that. Now I know. So, in the Philippines kasi, nung pinabutasan ko si Sai, sa ears niya, I didn't need, they didn't ask me for any consent or whatever like that. They didn't let me sign or anything. They just pierced Zyrus' ears. Oh, he was like around one year old or, yeah, around one or two years old. Something like that. That's his age. So... Cyrus only have one ear pierced now because the other one closed but the other one it's still there's still a hole there that he can put earring but he's not anymore into he's not anymore or he's not yet again into putting ear holes ear earrings Zach is in the cool cool ano ba tawag niyan nasa cool ano siya Cool stage. Kailangan maging cool siya sa harapan ng mga friends niya. Yung shoes niya needs to be like, you know, yung pinaka ano talaga. So sometimes, that's why kapag may pera si Zach, iniipon niya para makabili siya nung yung mga high, high, high demand. Parang ganun. Yung mahal ng ano ni Zach, kailangan yung pera, yung pera niya nun. Binili niya ng shoes, Nike shoes. 
around 80 something bucks kasi yun lang yung pera niya yun lang marireach ng pera niya sa 80 bucks niya kailangan niya pumili ng shoes na magko-connect sa cool cool stage niya so 80 bucks lang yung pera niya nag-abono pa ako ng 4 dollars something like that no 84 talaga may pera siya ng 100 bucks kasi pumunta kami noon ng New York binigyan siya ng ng cousin in loco ng ano ng 100 bucks so may 100 bucks sila Binili niya Nike shoes and Nike bag. So, kailangan talaga yung mga ganun yung gusto niya. Yung mga kailangan talaga gwapo siya. Yun si Zach. Si Sai ngayon nasa stage siya na ayaw niya, na, ayaw niya ng pagwapo. Ayaw niya. Hindi na si Sai ganun. Ang laki ng pinagbago ni Sai. Before, you know, before when Zyrus is on the young age, like 3, 4, Yung, yung, ayun niya yung parang, basta. But yeah, ganun na nangyayari ngayon. So, si Zach, nagpa-earring. Yung earring niya, siya rin na nagbayad noon. Sabi, sabi ko. Pumili, ka, kasi yung pinili niya, first na earring, is around $79.99. Sabi ko, you have to pick, uh, an earring that matches your budget. You only have $55. So, yung pinili niyang earring is $54.99. Tapos, sinabihan siya nung sales, sales lady. You know that you're still gonna pay taxes, right? And he said, yeah. But I know he didn't know that. He forgot about the tax. Because I always remind them, when you're gonna buy some stuff, you always think about the, the tax. Because I'm not gonna pay for the tax. You have to pay for the tax. Sabi niya, yeah. Mommy, you're gonna pay for the tax. I, I want this earring. Uh, 54 dollars 55 lang ang better niya, sir. So, alright, but you have to pay me with the, the tax you owe me. Kasi, guys, what I, I motivate them on, ano, kasi Z Zach is kind of like getting, it's like not being more responsible when it comes to his grades. That's why he's always grounded. So I said, whenever you get a hundred on your grades, you get five dollars on each hundreds. And then if you get a quizzes that you get a hundred, then you get a dollar for each quizzes that you get a hundred. So para mo motivate and then para my pera din sila hindi hingi ng hingi sila sa akin na feeling nila madali lang yung pera pag sinang bili, bili, bili. So ayoko yun kasi, you know, it's... It's our part to tell them how to be responsible when it comes to spending. Zach is not really responsible when it comes to spending. He spends whenever he likes. Unlike Zam and Zach, uh, unlike Zam and Zyrus, they're like kind of cheap. <laughs> so yon, maglilinis tayo guys. Maglilinis pala ako. Kasi parang hindi ko kayo madadala sa aking, um, tawag nito, sa aking day of cleaning i'm cooking i'm cooking some beef here i'll show it to you you know guys this is my favorite appliances in the house it's my crock pot it's really like help a lot but you can buy a small crock pot you know if you you're, you don't have a big family i, I make a brisket with squash so i want to cook my squash and i don't know where to put it so i put it here so this is a really good one but this beef brisket has a lot of um, fats, so it created a lot of oil. So, yon. Positive. There. So, maglilinis mo na ako, guys, inside here in the house. And then, I'll tour you outside kasi inayos na namin, inayos na namin yung fence. So, I use na yung fence on that side. I didn't know guys that Dito pala sa America even though it's part of your property that part of the property you you cannot just put fence because it is part of your property you have to follow rules and regulation that whenever it's it's blocking the driver's um what do you call that if it's blocking the driver's sight, you cannot put fence 
on that side or you cannot over fence you you cannot over um, what do you call that hindi mo pwedeng isagad yung fence mo kasi nabablock yung eyes ng mga driver and it will cause accident so it's it's not it's not allowing the the state will not allow you kasi you will ask for permit for that fence and then if they think that it will block the sight of the drivers they will not allow you to put fence on that on that part of the house you can put fence but not over exaggerated on that ano, on the road so you, so you will you cannot occupy the whole because it's a Philippines you have to have a like four four feet or eight feet away from the road so if you say kung ang, ang pavement is on this side so you have to count eight feet away from the road so that's that's the Philippines thing and here it needs to be 40 feet 40 feet away from the road if it's 40 feet then that's the start of your fence so the, you, the last time I the last time I told you from my vlog my everyday vlog now that part of I'll show you later but that's the rule of the of the state here in Florida if it, you need 40 feet away from the road so you cannot block the eyesight of the driver because it will cause accident it's like a hindrance when it comes to like looking from the road so I, I've learned so much but that part of the that part of the fence is fixed now so I use na yan na change na namin na bago na namin so that's our project for this month is yung fence so kasi gusto na namin ayusin yung fence kasi the last time when hurricane Ian hit Florida the that part of the fence fell off so yung ginawa lang ni Pete nilagyan lang niya ng he just placed some um do you call this like a uh ang hirap naman yung kahoy ba nilagay lang niya doon ni inano lang niya so it will not fell off so nilagay niya lang ng barricade para hindi mag fell off ang fence yun ang ginawa niya but now we really need to ano fix fix it kasi you know florida is is like a there's always storm you know even though it's not that bad but it's still it's very windy unpredictable florida has unpredictable weather tomorrow it's gonna be hot and sunny tomorrow it's gonna be cold and then tomorrow it's gonna be rainy and then cloudy so it's very unpredictable so we need to be prepared for that unpredictable right so I'll see you later guys magsasampay na ako guys ng labahan kumot nung simulang nag stay kami nag live kami dito in Florida hindi na ako masyado nag use ng dryer mula na mga alamo ko nun dito guys all of my plants are inside the house today kasi it's yung lamig dito lalamig 30 degrees and then it's gonna be sunny and hot and then lalamig na naman papasok ko na naman and I don't like that so I'd rather let it stay for now here nanyo namatay guys sa lamig it's because of the cold tas ito naman binunot lang ni Zach nakatali to sa fence eh tas binunot niya tas namat na wala na namatay na and then, if you remember, guys, I told you before na ipa, ipa propagate ko yung snake plant, the mother tongue. And then there you go. It's ano na, it took it took like six six or eight months before it started to grow. And then I'll show you the orchid. Then this is the one na I thought that it's gonna die already. And then there you go, guys. It's now creating more plants, like the leaf. It's growing. This, this are, this that's normal, guys, with the 
with the orchid it comes and it goes it dies and then it grows again whenever they like have four leaf the other one will die that's what i just noticed and then this one again is blooming again so i didn't cut this time guys this one didn't die hindi siya namatay ngayon usually after nang after nang flower after nyang uh, after ma ano ba tawag nyan, guys after mahulog ng mga flowers usually if it's end of the season end of the flowers usually itong tangkay niya usually itong tangkay niya nagdidilaw na or namamatay but this time look at that guy guys oh nag grow nag grow dalawa pa mas meron pa rito siya nag action na siyang mag bloom ng flower so it's really hmm, they like this part of the house dito kasi they're growing does this i bought a new orchid i'm gonna try if they're gonna live or no live or not i bought this from home depot for 10 bucks each that's different kinds of orchids different color flowers i forgot the, the color of the flowers like leaf it's like red green that's the orchid flower color so let's sampai na guys let's sampai okay let's go back here forgot my shades guys my eyes is very sensitive when it comes to sunlight it really cannot be i cannot open my eyes with sunshine like this i don't know it's getting sensitive and low when it comes to sunlight here you go guys, ito na yung project namin sa labas you see ayos na siya wala na yung mga ka-ek-eka niya rito sa likod yan na siya fix na siya and this shed, we're gonna move it to I guess over there kasi dito, pinabaha siya ng tubig dyan sobra sobrang baha so, ayan na, na-fix na tapos na yung fence here on this side of the house backyard side of the fence this is what i'm talking about you guys yung makalat pa talaga yung liquid but asensyahan nyo na lang yun yung papaya ko nahiwan ko namatay na naman nata to sa lamig pero binalot ko na naman siya kasi nga 30 degrees namamatay siya baka matuluyan ito yung nangyayari sa mga plants pag lumalamig dito, namamatay ng ganyan tapos mag stem na naman siya ng bagong ganito yan, tapos magbubloom na naman siya okay pa naman sana to, ito yung linipat namin guys from there to here kung nanonood kayo ng vlog ko ito yung sinasabi ko guys na this one yun yung nandoon and then magano si pit ng permit if if we're allowed to move this one para magpantay doon sa other fence para dire-diretso yung paganon but the problem is sinabihan kami nung mag ng fence na there's a law kasi or policy by the state na if ever it's gonna block the driver's eyesight kung mababline yung drivers towards the road they will not allow you to move the fence even though it's part of your property so we're not sure kung mamumove namin tong fence na to along to that side if not daw sabi niya kung hindi ma approve yung design natin na yun na we're gonna move towards there then the next yung next choice na lang namin is you open namin to then i papantay na lang namin dito sa fence na to itong fence na to hindi na namin iuusog doon. So, we'll, we'll try first. Kasi sinukat namin, it's really, ito, 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 itong side na to, 40 feet na talaga to away from the road. So, kung susundin namin yung isang linya doon, ano na yun, um, less, less 40 feet. So, I'm not sure if gonna approve. But sabi ng mga guys ng fence, Let's just try it. If we approve then we will make another sketch na ito na lang ang susundin. 
So we will see. We will see. Ang kalat talaga ng pack. Pero maayos na siya. Yung ano na yun, papatanggal ko yung kasi. Harang kasi, harang. Parang masakit sa mata. Ayoko nang ganun, di ba? May mayroong mayroon tayong ano sa ano. Dapat yung para tuloy-tuloy yung ano. Walang harang sa blessings or whatever. Or bad things or whatever like that. I don't know. Parang piling ko kasi na harangan yung eyesight ko. So, ayoko nang naharangan yung eyesight ko. Magsasampay na ako guys dito. Nisha guys, tapos na. Ayan, na ulit ako magsampay. Nagpapatakbo pa ako ng hmm, couch cover. So, ayan pa. Tatrabawin pa ito. Tatanggalin na ito ni Pete kasi gagawin, na niya, gagawin namin itong we will use this for making plants. Ano dyan? Yung patungan ng mga plants na may bubong na makapagtanim-tanim kami. Eh, dito sa Florida when it's summer it's very hot. So, we need like a roof over the plants kasi they dive with too much heat so to protect them we'll put some roof so meron kami biniling roof and then magawa kami ng parang parang ano bang tawag nyan? green greenhouse but it's not really greenhouse yung may bubong lang tsaka yung patungan yung gagaya last time doon pero patungan lang good di talaga yung greenhouse so sana mag-survive yung, yung ano namin yung papaya kasi lahat ng alaman namin nagmatay may tubig tubig parang sa fog mag ano ko ng mga damit guys mag organize ako magtatanggal ako ng mga damit na hindi na ginagamit tapos para ilagay sa packaging box Kasi, you know, box time again. Kasi marami ng damit na masisikip sa mga bata. So, might as well ilagay natin sa packaging box. Ibigay sa Pilipinas. Especially sa mga bata na, you know, hindi nabibili ng bagong damit. Kasi dito sa Amerika, parang ginagamit lang yung damit. Tapos, wala na. Hindi na, hindi na talaga hindi naman talaga na paglulumaan unlike sa Philippines na naluluma talaga okay here you go alam niyo guys I salute talaga yung mga nag nagvavlog ng everyday vlog about their life yung everyday vlog na kaya na ginawa ko last time yung everyday vlog hindi ako nagsusurvive sa everyday vlog kasi hindi ko natatapos yung trabaho sa everyday vlog so I really salute those um magchichika mo na ako bago ko continue yung paglilinis ko sa bahay. I really salute them na nagagawa nila yung everyday vlog. That's why I understand some of them cannot keep up with the everyday. Some of them they will like vlog today and then the following after two days they gonna vlog again. Kasi nga ang hirap talaga mag-focus. Puro ka lang vlog nakakalimutan mo na yung Pamilya mo. <laughs> so, yun. I really salute those, the one that does everyday vlog. Especially, even ano ko si Simply Raise. Especially her, talagang tuloy-tuloy yung everyday vlog niya. Walang plaka, walang yung... Talaga makikita mo siya everyday in sa YouTube channel na. Andi dyan talaga siya, everyday vlog. Some yung pinabangit ko si McQueen, some... Ano siya yung bang, hindi na siya yung as in everyday vlog. Ano na siya yung vlog today, then what, how, whenever na makapag video siya again, tsaka siya magbablog again. So, I understand naman her side kasi mister niya naman. Wala naman talaga sa bahay. Bali, ano lang siya. Bali, mag-isa lang siya na nag sa baby. So, Mahirap talaga for her to keep up with the everyday vlogging, especially without her family, with her, ganon. Walang support, walang yung bang di siya makapagpahinga. I understand that kasi ako nga napapagod nga ako sa paggawa ng everyday vlog. I cannot keep up. That's why it's really hard, especially with me if I have work. 
Tapos magbablog ako. Siyempre, tired din ako from the work. Alam mo, I really never imagine na makakapag 95 subscriber ako. Why? Kasi nung first na trinay ko tong vlogging, it's just really like, sabi ko, ah, magbablog nga ako. It's just, oh, magbablog ako. And then my son said, Zyra said, you're not gonna get any subscriber, mommy, because you don't have friends. <laughs> diba ang sakit? Sabi niya, because you don't have friends. So, sabi ko, it's alright, Baba, even though I don't have friends, if they see, like, they wanna subscribe, then they can subscribe. It's okay. No strings attached. If I don't gain any subscriber, it's alright. But, syempre, bonus na lang kung makakapag-subscriber ako, diba? Kasi, kahit maraming kakilala yung family ko, or maraming I mean, kahit maraming friends si Pete or marami, marami rin akong kakilala kahit ganun hindi naman silang lahat to support sa'yo for subscribing or watching your video hindi yan hindi, hindi yan kahit marami kang friends if they don't wanna support you, they will not support you so, iba pa rin yung close friends or best friend, them, they gonna support you. Or your family, not all of your family will also support you. So, don't expect. So, I never expected talaga na I will reach 95 subscribers kasi it's it's really like heartwarming when I see like, oh, my next subscribe? Oh, my next subscribe na naman. Especially when they they really watch my video. Some, some watch, some most Sa 95, hindi naman lahat na nanonood. So, probably, pag may gusto lang silang panoorin, yun lang yun. And it's okay. It's alright. No strings attached. So, I'm really thankful, guys, for you subscribing on my channel. Especially, it's a bonus if you watch my video. So, and if you share my video, I'm really thankful for that. And of course, I thank God for excuse me, for giving me a subscribers. So, it's alright. Sabi ko sa, kaya yung mga anak ko pag sisay ko, oh, I gain another subscriber, my kids will be like, really? How many subscriber you have now? <laughs> Natatawa ko pag sisabi. Really? Yung mga, yes! <laughs> yung mga ganun. Alright, guys. Dito na lang muna ako. Hanggang dito na lang muna. Kasi, Maglinis muna ako ng bahay na meron naman ako ma-achieve today. Okay? So, if you enjoyed this video, kindly like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share, share, share. Thank you.